Something I was made aware of quickly after becoming a parent is that kids catch way more colds than I expected. Seeing your little ones under the weather is always a bummer, but a thermometer can help you gauge the severity of the illness by letting you know if there is a fever at play and if a call to the pediatrician is in order. Since there are so many different types of thermometers and options out there, I'll break down the various types to help you figure out which one is right for your family and also offer up some suggestions. The four main types of thermometers are digital, ear, forehead, and smart. Regular digital thermometers use electronic heat sensors to record body temperature. They can be used under the tongue, in the armpit, or in the rectum. Yes, in the booty. And here's the deal. Since rectal is recommended as the best way to check a newborn's temperature, it's a good idea to have one of these on hand in that first year or two. Next up, ear thermometers, also known as tympanic thermometers. They use infrared rays to measure the temperature inside the ear canal. You can start using these on your baby when they reach six months old. They are super quick and generally comfortable for both children and adults. Be aware if your baby is suffering from an ear infection, getting a read using their ear could be difficult and uncomfortable. Moving on to forehead thermometers, which are likely what you've come across lately when getting your temp checked. These also use an infrared scanner, but this way measures the temperature of the major vein in your forehead called the temporal artery. They can read temperature super fast, they're non-invasive, and you can start using this method on your child beginning at three months old. Just keep in mind that you'll typically pay more for the convenience factor, and they aren't always as reliable in accuracy as a digital thermometer. Lastly, there's the smart thermometer. These are generally the most expensive options available as they're often paired with an app that collects data to be analyzed or offer next level measures to give you additional peace of mind. Real quick, there's one type of thermometer I'm not going to suggest in this video, and that is the pacifier thermometer. In theory, a digital reading through a pacifier sounds amazing and convenient. However, your baby would need to hold the pacifier still for three to five minutes straight in order to get a correct reading. And unless sleeping, most babies won't do that. So this method is not recommended. Let me share some examples of some popular thermometers that fit within the four types I am recommending. The Safety First Rapid Response is one of the least expensive digital options out there and takes just eight seconds to read your child's temp. It has a flexible tip for comfort and can be placed under the tongue, arm, or in the rectum. And it beeps once it has the read. The Frida Baby Quick Read Rectal is another great option with a parent-proof rectal insertion stopper to keep you from inserting too far when getting that tush temp. It also has a large display with backlight, making nighttime checks easier, and memory that stores the 10 previous reads. Plus, now Frida Baby is offering a 3-in-1 option with those same helpful features, so you can also check temp under the tongue or arm. If an ear thermometer sounded most appealing to you, then you might like the Braun Thermoscan 7. It can be inserted into the baby's ear and won't immediately shock them because the tip is pre-warmed. You can also adjust the settings to match your baby's age, which is helpful since fever range varies. And it includes disposable tip filters, so you can maintain hygiene while using it between different family members. Now, if the goal is not to wake a sleeping baby while getting a read, this non-contact infrared thermometer is a good option. The temp can be detected within a three to five centimeter distance with a rapid one second result. Plus it has two modes of detecting, body or surface. Meaning not only can it take your body temperature, you can check liquids, food, or even the temperature of a room. This exergen temporal artery thermometer includes a red LED light and soft beep to help indicate a correct reading. It takes a little bit of practice to get that forehead swipe just right, but you can also put this behind the ear to get a good read. In fact, that's the best way to do it if the forehead is super sweaty. If stats and data are more your speed, these smart thermometers take temperature readings to the next level. The Kinza Quick Hair Digital Thermometer is similar to something like the Safety First Digital Thermometer. However, this one links to your smartphone via Bluetooth to give you guidance on what to do next via the free Kinza app. For example, rest and fluids, ibuprofen, or a trip to the doctor. There's even a fun bubble popping game to distract your little one as they wait eight seconds for that read. The Vava baby thermometer monitors temperature through a wireless patch made of skin-friendly silicone that is attached to your baby's armpit and displays the reading on an LCD screen. It alerts you with real-time beeps and a blinking LED light the moment it detects a high temperature. The patch holds its charge for 24 hours and only takes an hour and a half to recharge. 
Lastly, the Motorola 3-in-1 Smart Non-Contact Baby Thermometer measures temperatures within an inch in less than a second. Plus, it can also take temperature readings of foods and liquids. But where this forehead thermometer really stands out is when it's paired with the Hubble app, which can track temp history, monitor fevers over time, share readings, set medicine alarms, log systems, and more. The most important thing is to feel confident and comfortable with a thermometer so you're able to get an accurate temperature reading. There's no doubt that armed with a good thermometer and pediatrician, your baby will get the care they need when they need it.